Right, this is a quick walk around video of a Honda Civic 2.2 ES diesel. The car here you can see is registered as a 59 plate and this is a facelift version so you can see it's got the new style grille there and the new style plastic insets at the bottom there. Lenses completely unmarked, there's no cracks or anything in those at all. The fan you can hear kicking in and out, is, I've just been on uh, road testing the vehicle so don't be surprised to hear that because it's, it's still operating hot. Um, front end of the car, generally good, obviously with 88,000 miles. It has got a few stone chips which you, you expect to get on any car, uh, but it's obviously a completely genuine vehicle. And we show, kind of show them warts and all, but it really does look absolutely superb. Black roof on top and the red paint, Milano red, looks really good. New style um, wheel trims, uh, wheel, sort of these finishes here, what we call March trims. Um, far less prone to fading than the older versions which would fade very easily. New style twin spoke alloys on there, generally in very good condition. Wing mirror and repeater unmarked. And the panel works really, really crisp. It does belie the kind of miles the car's done. Um, obviously it's priced according to the miles as you'd expect, but it's um, very, very crisp indeed. Panel work on this side, it's hardly a it's hardly an imperfection. There's obviously going to be the odd little mark here or there. You're not going to get away with it. That's why the car's cheaper than it would be with half the miles. Alloy on this back here, really, really clean indeed. Coming around the back of the car. Again, all in very, very nice order actually. And then we come to the near side of the vehicle. Bumper corner there is really good. See down there, that is very, very clean and crisp down on the flanks. I'll come to the other side so the sun's not um, catching it. Alloy on the side, can't see a mark on it anywhere. And again, the panel works you know, more like a car that's done sort of 40, 50,000 miles than one that's done 80 or so. And wing mirror housing is absolutely spot on. And final alloy, absolutely superb. So, apart from a, the odd, very, very minor mark, sorry, I was going to go down the side as well just to show you how clean and crisp that side is. But it's a really good looking car and in very, very good condition for its age and miles. Alright, coming to the boot area now. All in nice condition back here. Huge boot, You've got 60 40 fold on the rear seats there. That's it again in, in very, very, very nice condition. Uh, obviously, you've got your power rack lights up there as well. Coming inside the car, it's got these new style paint on the um, right around the electric windows on these uh, later versions are far more crash, uh, crash, scratch resistant than the other ones. Silera is all really good, it's all in lovely condition. Back of the passenger seat at the front there, spot on. Likewise, plastic's all really good. But it really, really is in lovely, lovely condition back here. Absolutely massive amount of leg room as well. Come to the front of the car, driver's door card, looks pretty much like new, can't see any wear on there at all. Sill area, carpet area is all really nice. Seat, it's very, very good condition, really is, very hard wearing anyway. And front passenger seat there, equally lovely condition. Just gonna put camera up slightly. I see on these you've got this panoramic roof. This is a really sunny day today, so if I've got it closed, just press a button there and it opens. And you can stop it at different positions as well if you want, so just do like that. We'll let go and it closes fully. All right, so inside the car now, obviously the engine's running as it has been all the way through. Dashboard's in super condition, it really is. Um, obviously ES specs, so you've got dual zone climate control, um, cruise control and auto lights and wipers. Um, I'll talk more about the dashboard in the following road test video, so I won't bore you with all the, those details now. Um, just to go pan in there, you see 88,744 miles. This video was done actually after the road test, so even though we've edited it the other way around, it's just the way it works. Um, but steering wheel, all the controls in really, really good condition there. Um, come down the centre here, six speed gearbox, absolutely spot on. So I just press the button for the electric windows, by, the electric wing mirrors by mistake, just to show you they all work, which they do beautifully. Show on that side as well. There we go. So, 
my clumsy hand, but really is in fabulous, fabulous condition in here. Now the car drives beautifully, but you'll you'll see more of that in the, the, the following road test. But it looks like, genuinely like a car that's done far less miles than it actually has. Finally, just to show you here, you've got the original owner's manual pack with the owner's manual for the car and lock and wheel nut set is all good and intact and inside the car for you. Right, that's a video for a Honda Civic. This is a 1. Point, uh, sorry, so I got it right. It's a 2.2 diesel ES model. Uh, car's registered SP59WXO. Mileage at the start of this road test is 88,736 miles. The um, reason we do the road tests, as I say in every case, is basically because we're now selling to customers from much, much further afield. Internet being what it is, um, people are sort of willing to travel further and sort of shop harder for cars, which we readily accept. Um, so I do these videos to give you a look at the car prior to coming to us. So if you're coming a long, long way, you can actually see the car in operation. Also worth pointing out that I do the road test on exactly the same roads as you'll be doing it yourself if you come to see the car and you're interested in buying it. So, you know, what I feel should be exactly what you'll feel. And feedback I give should uh, mimic exactly what you feel when you get down to us. I always do it in a kind of order that you'll do yourself. So I'll start with the engine and the vehicle. A great place to start on any Honda car. Uh, this is a 2.2 CDTI diesel engine. Really fabulous units. Um, cut this particular one starts absolutely on the button. Um, let's come to an idle here. It idles absolutely dead rock steady. Clutch in, clutch out. There's no difference in the idle of the car, no vibrations coming back through the vehicle either. Um, they pull like an absolute train, and this one's no different. It's a really sweet revving engine, really gutsy. Um, and the reality is, you know, it's it, you know, only probably sort of a few years ago, this has been a borderline kind of hot hatch performance, and uh, yet you get, you know, an easy 50 to the gallon. You know, we've got customers who are getting way more than that, um, but we've got others who are getting less than that. So it's, it, it, it is all about driving style, how you drive them. Um, but, uh, you know, driven using the torque of the engine rather than holding it in the lower gears, you can get some exceptional economy figures out of them. Um, engine is, uh, doesn't use any DPF filters. So unlike most of its competitors, you've got none of that awful stuff to worry about, clogging up filters and regenerating all that rubbish that uh, you've got to do. Um, and it's a, it has a cam chain, so there's no scheduled belt change on the engine at all. So again, that's a, that's a huge uh, bill, which you normally get somewhere in life, normally around about sort of 70,000, 80,000 miles on most cars. These ones, they, no, you don't have to do it, so that's that. Um, but as an engine, and as an exact example of one, fabulous, fabulous engine, this one. It, and it, so it pulls like stink, it really does go well. Um, engine goes through then to clutch and gearbox. The clutch is very smooth and quiet in operation, very positive, bites perfectly, uh, exactly the right bite point on the clutch treble as well. The gearbox is a, another brilliant Honda gearbox. Um, and as I said, you know, it's, uh, it's a real lesson to other manufacturers how to make a cable operated gearbox feel mechanical and positive because it's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Very short throw, so easy just to find the gears at any time and just doing a fun just to show. Um, but it is it's so confidence inspiring when you're hustling along, you're not sort of flapping around for a gear in a hurry. Synchro meshes are all beautifully judged. And again, I, just, I can't, the whole linkage, everything about it is, there's no detectable wear in it at all. Um, it's you know, really, really tight. The whole powertrain is it, absolutely, there's no, so there's no vibrations, nothing. It's just very sweet and very refined. Car tracks absolutely bullet straight. There's no vibrations coming back from the steering wheel, no shudders, no shakes under braking. Um, very positive steering, more of which in the, uh, later in the video. Uh, but looking at the kind of wear issues on any vehicle, that's the thing you've got to look out for. Um, likewise, the suspension of the car, uh, riding along here smoothly, quietly. Obviously, you're going to hear it going over the bumps. 
but what I haven't got is any kind of nasty sort of clonks or bangs from underneath the car that shouldn't be there and notably on any car with a few miles in it you, you expect to find a little bit of wear in there, a little bit of slop um, and quite often you hear sort of a few little metallic clankings which is usually things like little drop links, anti-roll bars, um, little, uh, what they call them, I've forgotten that, um, these little sort of little drop link things and you know, they, they, they're, des they're designed in weak points, they chatter away a little bit underneath but I can't hear anything under the car, it's at, you know, set apart from going over a bump, uh, there's nothing there at all. Brakes on the car, lovely solid brake pedal, um, there's no shuddering, I'm going to get up to speed and do that a bit more aggressively in a second just to give it a, a bit of oomph and also just shut up for a second just rev the engine. as well and as soon as the brakes are sharp sharp on the dead straight wow <laughs> yeah they're good ABS kicks in nicely uh, so a good brake pedal there and um, again it's not pulling left pulling right there's no pulsing under the brake pedal at all so it's all in, all in fine fettel as I drive along listening out for kind of wind noises that shouldn't be there you know if you've got something like a damaged you know window seal or windscreen badly fitted or something badly fitted um, then you might get a little bit of wind, wind hiss into a car and not we ever really have that issue with the Hondas but um, this one's exactly as it should be nice quiet and refined and just do is a quick check of the cruise control while we're going along so I've set the system press set speed up using the rocker switch slow down use the rocker switch so that's all working absolutely perfectly so all really good looking inside the car the car's not been cleaned since we've uh, arrived to us um, it will be going in very very soon but it's all in lovely order inside here um, this is the facelift version of the car so don't don't confuse it with the earlier versions the pre-2009 cars there's quite a lot of differences in them um, they really did up the quality of the, um, the plastics inside the car you know they've always been very very well made cars uh, but what they've done here is basically the, the obvious things to look out for on the facelift ones are little things like this around here this used to be a very shiny plastic um, which looked nice but unfortunately you know rings and fingertips and fingernails you would sort of mark it quite quickly and it could look grubby over the years whereas this is much 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 more resistant we've never seen any sort of marks on there equally around the um, the window switches here, the centre console here, the plastics used to be a very bright silver, or relatively bright silver anyway, and uh, but no, this one's uh, the, the, the much, much, much tougher, much more resistant sort of scratching. They used to wear through so you could see the white of the plastic underneath, um, but no, that's kind of a thing of the past. But the rest of it, I love. I mean, this, this dashboard is absolutely superb. It's um, you've got this nice, big, simple radio here display up there all the pixelation is good on that uh, for your um, radio and ventilation and climate control system and incidentally the climate control system works absolutely perfectly you've got absolutely ice cold air coming out of the vents here uh, best part of the dashboard for me is what I'm looking at now dead straight ahead which is this two tier dashboard uh, high up display for MPH and other minor functions there but I love that because it basically I'm looking at the car in front, maintaining my gap, but at the same time I can see my travelling speed very easily out of my peripheral vision. Um, it's a really brilliant, brilliant system. Uh, you know, this it looks grand. This dashboard, it looks like it could potentially be gimmicky, but it, it, it isn't in the slightest. It works absolutely superbly. Down below that, we then got a more conventional binnacle, um, albeit with a big dominating rev counter lovely and easy to take it, that information in and in the middle of that you've got this information display giving you know, things like sort of fuel economies and that kind of stuff which if i press the button here on the um steering wheel i can scroll through different functions on the on the uh, the information display there um obviously temperature gauge and fuel gauge temperature gauge is running at a third um which is exactly where it wants to be on on an, any honda car you know whether it be a petrol or a diesel version um, but it's all good. I mean, they, what's hard to get over on the videos is you, you know the, the, the quality of manufacture of these things is absolutely brilliant. But every button I pressed, everything I've um, 
the roof, the electric folding mirrors, all the electric windows, um, obviously all the functions I've just checked there all work absolutely superbly. Obviously as part of the ES package you get auto lights and auto wipers, um, you get the dual zone climate control system as well. Uh, so you know, it's a really, really nicely specified car. Um, but as an example of one, you know, it's, 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 it's not a lot of money actually for um, one of these new shaped ones. Um, you know, obviously because it's down at 88,000 miles, so I'm guessing that's why it's cheaper. But it's, uh, it's, it drives as tight as anything that's done sort of 20, 30,000 miles. So it's got a lovely freshness about the, um, the drive of the vehicle. It doesn't, doesn't feel as though it's been abused or driven along the potholed roads all its life. You know, I've driven some low mileage cars, um, and you know they, they drive horribly where they've been sort of battered around. But really, the, the reason I, I guess I love these cars is that they, they they are dynamic. You know that you know I was referring to earlier the steering and the suspension really coming to their own on those sort of tight twisty roads. Um, you know the corners like the ones we've got coming up now. You know a lot of cars can sort of keel over and flop and fall over themselves getting around them these just the slightest turn of the wheel with virtually no adjustments on it at all and it just goes through it rides the crests it's really well damped and this one here's a horrible corner off camber right um lot softly sprung cars that you fall in one or go to the hedge this one just tucks its nose in goes round completely unflustered it's a brilliant brilliant car but anyway, that brings to the end of the video. If I've missed anything out that I should have mentioned, that I do apologise. Don't hesitate. Please do give us a call. Um, but judging by our options today, you've come to drive a really, really lovely example of one of these cars.